Hey guys, it's Kyle. Um, figured it was time for a bit of an update here on the bench. Uh, not a whole lot done. Um, Minnesota is getting into that stage where it's going to be the end of summer and the humidity is going up for a while. So the past couple days have been pretty humid and the next couple days are going to be pretty humid. So no painting will most it'll most likely have no painting going on here. Um I have school starting back up soon, I think like 14 or 15 days before that starts. So building's going to slow down for that and I'm hoping to get this Camaro done before that. Um, so I will update you on the Camaro and on the Cameo as well. Uh, most of the work has been done on the Camaro. Uh, Cameo hasn't got much done to it lately. I had to wait for a, a replacement kit actually because the cab and um, bed had paint reactions so bad that it messed the plastic up. It melted some of the plastic actually somehow. Uh, the re I'm not sure what the reaction was, um, but it just completely annihilated both of them. So what I did was went to Amazon. Um, Amazon is a very well used site for me. I uh, got this kit for. Mm, just under $19 shipped to my door. The shipping was free. Um, this is the 2011 release compared to the... Um, what release is this? The 1991 release. So it's, it's newer plastic. Um, it's a newer mold, I believe, than the older one. So... This one's better. I've built this one. Uh, it's the one that I built for uh, the junior model contest that Chevy Cheeseburger held last year or the year before. I think it was last year. But So I know this is a good kit. I just have to not let the plastic do what it did last time. I don't know what, what's wrong with that. So that's the only actual progress on the Cameo. Um... Just besides, I'm building a firewall um, to uh, fit around the big V8 from the Camaro. Um, excuse my arm here, I'm trying to grab the motor, this motor here. So, it's from the 2010 Camaro, if you don't recall. So on to the Camaro, the 69 Camaro, the 112 scale. Uh, mostly getting a whole bunch of painting done on that. Uh, got the chassis here. Um, half of the front suspension is in mock-up. Um, had some fitment issues with... Let me get this adjusted a little bit better for you guys. Had some fitment issues in the front with this, um, this the shinier piece there. Um, not sure what the issue was, it just doesn't want to fit very well, so it, it can't stay glued because it never really touches anything. But when you put the suspension together, that holds it all together. So, uh, this side, I'm obviously going to paint that. Whoever made this, it looks like it makes it look like there are disc brakes on the back. You probably can't see those, but on the back of the front brakes, I doubt it'll focus. Well, kind of, you see, the, there's a caliper back there, and then the front of the uh, of the front brakes makes it look like drums. And when you see that behind the tire, this is the rear tire, so it's not going to look normal, but. Uh, if you see it back in there, the camera's out of focus. 
here we go looks like a drum so the back would look normal with drum brakes in the back but the front just doesn't look entirely normal so I think that's a bit of a flaw uh, and the instructions are pretty poor on showing you how to do the back so I actually think you're supposed to take parts of the stock tires like this here mount them to the axle and then put this over it and put your pin in there and then it will actually look it'll look like a drum brake and it'll fit on there because the instructions show you just putting the tire or the rim directly onto the rear end here without this black piece and that does not work so I'm not sure if that's just some flaw in between the remolding because of the addition of the wheels because it's a setup to be used with the stock wheels because they fit right over these white pieces here the stock wheels just fit right over them and you don't see them at all so I don't know that might be it but who knows underside here I took some future and I made the gas tank gloss black along with the straps running down uh, can you see that? Yeah, potentially. Um, got half the front suspension done here. Uh, that's just the mold, the color that it's molded in. I thought it gave it some contrast. Uh, this piece here, I put some future on. There's a bit of a shine there that you see. Um, have to get the other half of the suspension done in the front. As for the back suspension, I have the uh, leaf springs here with the taller shackles on there I'm not sure if those are the stock ones actually or the uh, custom ones but I put those ones on there um, one of these is warped I believe when you put it on the rear end uh, it sits funny so I just, I'm gonna have to super glue those in because of the way they sit I don't think regular model glue will hold it but, uh, yeah, so the engine's still just how it was. I uh, painted up, I don't remember if it was this was in the last update, but I painted up the, uh, the core support here, that's aluminum. The radiator is aluminum, I might detail the tanks out to be black. Um, put some future on the shroud, the radiator shroud here. I uh, coated that in future. Uh, rear end, I believe I showed you, and then I put the black pieces on there as the brake, um, the drum brake backs. Um, put a coat of future on the hood latch mechanism there. It's got a bit of a shine. Uh, the grill, I put a coat of future on uh, it's not a big difference I'm just gonna leave the grill black because of the color of the car which I might show you I had to change drastically from the blue color uh, fan got a coat of future power booster got a coat of future uh, I really like the f look that it gives look look that the future gives it so that's why I'm using Future on just the bare plastic here. Um, there is the other uh, backing for the front brake. See, it looks like it's a it's a disc brake in the back. And the uh, distributor there. Uh, it would be nice if that focused in on it good. But uh, I gave that a coat of Future. Gave this a coat of future and gave the sway bar a coat of future just to set off the suspension under there make it look better um, gave the transmission mount or transmission support whatever you want to call it a coat of future as well to give it some shine to contrast with the bottom of the chassis and as well as the drive shaft, give that a coat of future. So, 
Um, have some chrome parts in here. Uh, yeah, they're all from this kit. I got the shifter, the front and rear bumpers. I don't want those chrome. So I got those in there. I have the carburetors and the velocity stacks in there as well. So those are those are in the Drano, being chromed. Uh, they're actually ready to come out of there, I believe, but I'll let them sit for a little bit longer. Don't think it'll hurt them. Um, on the headers, the I built the headers up, and they're pretty horrible. Um, you can see here, I did putty work. Maybe you could see, I don't know. Yeah, I did putty work there, and they just, they don't line up. Um, neither of them line up. Um, the driver's side lines up much better than the passenger side. But again, the bottoms, the bottom of the collectors that you are, the part you're actually going to see is horrible. Yes, that would focus. Let's try that again. It's trying. There we go. It's partially focused on there. Um, cleaning up the mold lines on the exhaust here. Uh, I'm going to paint that silver. And uh, just give me one second, I'll go grab the body, and I'll be right back to show you that. Alright, now the body is a drastic, drastic change from what it was supposed to be. And I'm actually not really too much of a fan of this paint. It's not cooperating with me, but if there's nothing I can do. And I'm running out of it, which is bad. But I believe that the next coat should hopefully be the final coat. Uh, I had some reactions between this and the paint that was on it before because it was the paint before was a lacquer paint, and this is an enamel-based paint, I believe. Um, so there's just some weird reactions. I'll I'll show you them. They don't appear until you sand it gladly because that's a lot of extra sanding. I would have to. It's not perfect by any means, but I'm kind of over it at this point. Uh, I've painted this probably about four times, and it's just it's not working out well at all. So I think I'm just going to... Throw the next coat on there, let that cure out, and cover it in future. So, without further ado, I'll show you over here so you can get a whole view of the body. Let me straighten the camera out, there we go. And here it is. Yep, it's silver. Not anywhere near what I wanted to paint it, but... Um, I just put my whole entire past three paychecks away it's for a car, so I have no money to go get paint. So I looked at the paint I had, I saw this one, um, and uh, I picked it. And it's it's got a shine right now, it, I wet sanded it so it's not shiny. Um, but you can see... Hopefully, let me get the white little backdrop here, so it cancels everything else out. Maybe it'll focus. Yeah, right there. That's where one of the reactions was. But the metal flake in this paint covers it up to the point where you cannot see it. So that is something I'm just going to have to deal with. Now, in the front... You see where it is sanded down to white right there. There was another reaction right there, and I'm most likely going to have to sand that down again. I actually want to probably sand that whole thing down and try to feather it in further up, just because of the way it is. Uh, I don't think it's going to look very good. 
Um, where else was one? Back here on the rear quarter panel, there was a reaction identical to what you saw up in the front. But as you see here, you can't see it because of the metal flake in the paint. So that's good. And everything else turned out fine. So, I don't know, I painted the inside as well just to match. But I'm running out of this paint. So it's better turn out good this time or I'm going to have to change colors yet again because that paint is not going to be found anywhere because I got it in another state. And I don't even know what it is anymore because I used it as a paint stand a couple times and it's covered in overspray. So... There is no telling what it is. And also with this paint, with the metal flake, it seems to have a texture in some places because of metal flake overspray, which is not good. But I do have a question for you if you guys are still watching because this video is over 16 minutes long and you probably have already shut it off by now. But if any of you guys are watching... Do you know that if, this is a question for you guys, if I wet sand this down and it has the appearance like this instead of the shine of, say, the regular paint like here, can I still coat that in future and have it look like a regular paint job? Or will it look just like this ugliness but shiny? Uh, that's a question for you guys. If you could comment that below if you're still watching, that would be wonderful. Because I really need to know that. So, that's about it. I'm just going to show you here with the different color hood for contrast. It will be black and not gray. But I think it, it'll look cool black just because, I mean, when doesn't a, a car look good with a black hood? And then the contrast between it and the tires, is it's very minimal contrast. But, whatever. Didn't expect to paint it like that, but that's what happens. So, until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. You guys have a good one. Good day or good night, wherever you are. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.